Good evening and welcome to the night prayer for July 28th, Friday in the 16th week of Ordinary Time. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We are called to have a clear conscience toward God and toward men, in our hearts and in our minds, in our actions and in actions. To do so, it is vital that we examine our conscience daily and to ask for God's mercy as we fall short, and to ask for His strength to do better. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to our Lord, our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O gladsome light of grace, of God the Father's face, the eternal splendor wearing, celestial, holy, blessed, our Savior Jesus Christ, joyful in time, appearing. Now day is slowly fading, evening light is showing, evening hymn outpouring, Father of might unknown, thee, his incarnate Son, and Holy Ghost adoring. To thee of right belongs, all praise of holy songs, O Son of God, life giver, thee therefore, O Most High, the world will glorify and shall exalt forever. Day and night I cry to you, my God. Lord, my God, I call for help by day. I cry at night before you. Let my prayer come into your presence. O oh, turn your ear to my cry. For my soul is filled with evils. My life is on the brink of the grave. I am reckoned as one in the tomb. I have reached the end of my strength. Like one alone among the dead, like the slain lying in their graves, like those you remember no more, cut off as they are from your hand. You have laid me in the depths of the tomb, in places that are dark in the depths. Your anger weighs down upon me. I am drowned beneath your waves. You have taken away my friends and made me hateful in their sight. Imprisoned, I cannot escape. My eyes are sunken with grief. I call to you, Lord, all the day long. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work your wonders for the dead? Will the shades stand and praise you? Will your love be told in the grave or your faithfulness among the dead? Will your wonders be known in the dark or your justice in the land of oblivion? As for me, Lord, I call to you for help. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Lord, why do you reject me? Why do you hide your face? Wretched, close to death from my youth, I have borne your trials, I am numb. Your fury has swept down upon me. Your terrors have utterly destroyed me. They surround me all the day like a flood. They assail me all together. Friend and neighbor you have taken away. My one companion is darkness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Day and night I cry to you, my God. You are in our midst, O Lord. Your name we bear. Do not forsake us, O Lord, O God. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord, God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep that awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people. I like to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, 
that awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. All powerful God, keep us united with your Son in his death and burial, so that we may rise to new life with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the all powerful Lord grant us a restful night and a peaceful death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you, do, to you do we send of our sights, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Thank you so much for praying with me tonight. Please remember to pray the Holy Rosary too. Have a great night rest. May the Lord bless you all. Good night.